Hey up everybody, Magpie Gaming here and in this video I'm going to bring you the latest news regarding Maverick's Proving Grounds. Now since E3 it's gone a little bit quiet regarding this game, I myself have been a little bit quiet on it. But really I can only make videos when news about the game comes around. I could sit all day making speculative videos but really I only want to make these videos when I know facts and figures and things like that. I would rather do that than make up stuff about the game that I think might be in it or could be in it and how it might play and etc etc prefer just to make a video when i know things so it was a good e3 showing for mavericks proving grounds they were on the pc game show. they were able to show the uh, launch trailer for the game and the launch trailer itself i found a little bit disappointing it was kind of like a, well i don't know how to describe it like a scripted um trailer there was no raw gameplay which was one of the things that i wanted to see from the game now it said that it was um game engine footage so it was showing the kind of um, visuals that you will get from the game but not actual gameplay not from the perspective of a game player so whilst it was okay it gave us an insight into what you can kind of expect from the game it didn't really give too much away which is something that maverick's proving grounds has been doing since day one they don't give too much away in terms of gameplay so we're kind of still waiting for raw gameplay but eventually we will get to see it but they did have a good showing it um boosted the popularity of this game a lot whilst the uh whilst their ceo was on stage they opened up the beta sign up website which promptly crashed <laughs> a few seconds later so but yeah there were a lot of people trying to get the beta sign up to this and they also announced that there would be a founders edition of the game which would launch a few days after e3 so i signed up for the founders edition which grants us slightly earlier access to the pc beta you get 12 months citizenship within the game exclusive cosmetics and you get access to the founders hall which is a social area within the game and you also get access to the founders forum on the website so you get like a, the founders forum allows us to ask the devs questions you might not always get replies to those but it gives us a forum with which to ask questions and also getting the earlier access to the game is a bonus too but they've released their latest developer diary and as i've said in previous videos i really really do like these developer diaries some people might find them boring to watch but when you're excited for a game it's a really good way to get like a connection with the developers you know these guys aren't going to be a fly-by-night cash grab game you know you get to see these people you get to know them you get to understand them you get to see the studio that they're working in you can see that there's you know it's not a scam or anything like that a lot of people believe that some days when these games are funded in these ways that they're a bit of a scam and they're just out for a cash grab and that's definitely not what Maverick's Proving Grounds is there's a highly skilled set of staff there creating what they believe passionately is going to be a really really good game so I enjoy these developer diaries and this latest one is down to character design and it's basically giving us a look at the factions within the game and altogether there are four factions that will be present within the game the first off is the circle of lazarus the institute of technological resistance the last special forces and the syndicate and each one has quite distinct clothing and items that they wear now you're not going to be locked to having these clothing items you're going to be able to mix and match between the different factions so if there's something if you take out somebody you're I'm assuming that you're able to then loot them for certain items of their clothing and you can swap out with your own and the factions are going to be distinct due to their character movement as well now automaton studios have created their own motion capture studio there and they've been doing different um, character movements for the different factions so whilst you might be able to mix and match and maybe even make yourself look like a complete different faction you will in fact still have the character movement of the faction that you started with so yeah it's looking really good i like the um clothing that some of them wear i especially like the syndicate i think their clothing is really really cool but like i say in previous videos go watch these developer diaries yourself you get a better feeling for what they're trying to create by watching the whole developer diary rather than just me talking about it so yeah that's pretty much all the news on mavericks proving grounds for now we just await maybe some gameplay to come out and just await the beta now for 
those of us that signed up for founders that is august so that's next month we don't have an exact date next month but all being well we will get that very very soon so i'll put a link in the description to the latest developer diary so that you can go watch that and you can get a better feeling for what character designs they're putting in they obviously have some highly skilled staff there doing it and watching the way that they create some of the clothing is just it's really good to see it's quite um it's interesting to see because it's not something it's not a process that you always get to see with um developers you don't get to see how they design certain parts of the game so yeah it's a really good thing to see and that is pretty much it for today folks as always thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will catch you in the next one take care